Hi folks, it's me again, Dave. Last time we were talking about respiratory protection and everything that goes into a complete respirator program. I got a little distracted. Today I'll wrap up by talking about how to use a respirator properly. I know, you might think I'm treating you like children. But hey, I've seen people in scrap yards wearing respirators upside down, using the wrong respirator for the exposures that they have. Believe me, it's a big deal. Let's have a look at a few common respirators found in scrap yards. Probably the first and most common are the standard dust masks. Yeah, these are respirators too. Even if you use them voluntarily and not because you have to, it's a good idea to pay attention to this message. Number one, don't use the simple cheapo masks that only have one elastic strap. They don't do the trick. And none of them have the NIOSH approval that workplace environment respirators must have. Here's a better option. Notice it has two straps and an aluminum clip that you can form around the bridge of your nose. To use this kind of respirator for simple nuisance dusts, pull the bottom strap over and below your ears, and then the top strap back over the crown of your head. Once positioned, gently bend the nose clip so it fits snugly over the bridge of your nose. If you've done it correctly, you should have a pretty good seal. I heard some of you out there ask, how come I'm not putting one of these on myself? The answer is simple. I'm not allowed to because I'm not clean shaven. That's why my mother-in-law, Ethel, can never wear a respirator. Remember, these respirators are being used to protect you from stuff. That means there's stuff out there trying to break through your mask. If you experience any difficulty breathing or suddenly smell nasty gases or vapors, that means you're about to have a really bad day. Get your ass out of the hazardous area and reassess the work environment. And get your supervisor to check things out. There's another type of respirator common in some scrapyards that have nasty vapor exposures. It's called an air purifying chemical cartridge respirator. These cartridges are designed to capture and filter out the vapors, mists, and fumes we don't want to inhale. You probably see welders or torch cutters wearing these. If you're painting or cleaning metal with solvents, this might be the one to use. But make sure it has the correct cartridge for the chemical you're exposed to. If you have a lead, dust, or fume exposure, an organic vapor cartridge ain't gonna do much good. Check with your safety guy to see if you're using the right one. When you put this puppy on, it's important to snug up the bottom straps first and then the top strap over the crown of your head, not over the top of your hard hat. And don't make the straps too tight, just tight enough to get a comfortable yet tight seal. Next, you'll want to do a positive and negative pressure leak check. Do this by holding the palms of your hands over the cartridges that you're handling. If you have a good seal, the face piece will suck up against your face like that Jersey Shore girl in a hot tub. Just cover the exhalation valve and gently exhale. The face piece should blow up on your face, but still hold a seal. Now you're ready to face the hazards. I should point out that if you work regularly with concentrated hazardous materials above the permissible exposure limit, you need to have a more precise fit test that assures the respirator brand and size is the right one for your face. Nobody's face is shaped the same, so be real careful about using the right respirator that fits your mug. Ask your safety guy about fit tests too. After you've used your respirator, it's very important to clean and sanitize it so it's ready to rock the next time you are. OSHA doesn't like seeing respirators lying about on the shelves or in a contaminated area, so be real careful about sealing it up somewhere safe after you've cleaned it. A lot of guys I know keep them in Ziploc bags in their locker or equipment bag. That's a good habit to get into. Look, I know respirators can be a real pain, but if they're necessary, they're necessary. So make sure you follow all the rules your scrapyard has. These things protect your health, so treat them with respect. Don't be drilling holes in the thing for easy cigarette access. That ain't cool. Just use your respirator whenever necessary and operate safely or not at all.
and none of them have the I-O-N-H-H approval resp NIOSH and none of them have the NIOSH approval. <laughs>